Hey, third grade. All right, back together again. And I am especially excited because in English, we are starting the very next chapter, chapter eight, which is writing a short story. Now, last week I had you um, watch a video on some uh, tips on how to write a good short story. And I hope that got you excited and maybe got your creative juices flowing. And then earlier this week, I, I have you um, practicing using quotation marks and um, to set up a dialogue. Remember, dialogue is just the give and take of uh, two people talking, two or more people talking. And uh, we're going to use that in our short story because we're going to have people talking to one another. All right, well, today I'm going to begin talking to you about the steps, okay, of writing our short story. Um, you have the packets. It's, it's beginning on page 137. We're going to start the story planning. First is getting an idea. What is your story going to be about? In your packet, it says that writers can get ideas from anywhere. It can be from a story that you've read before. It can be from a picture that you see. It can be from even events that are happening in life, in your life or somebody else's life. So getting an idea. And last week, I asked you to maybe start thinking of some things you might want to write about. So hopefully you've been doing that because today we're going to start the process. All right, so the very first is what will your story be about? Now, I'm going to be writing a story as well. I'm excited, and uh, hopefully, um, as I go through the writing process, it'll help you in uh, your um, writing of your story as well. All right, so the very first point is, what is your story going to be about? Um, again, it can come from anywhere. For my story, I decided to make it um, based on things that are happening right now. The whole reason why we're having to, um, to communicate with each other in this way. Um, the coronavirus that we're dealing with. My story is going to be <laughs> um, third grade solves the corona problem. Ha ha ha. Now you might be saying, but Mrs. Smith, are you, what, that sounds crazy. How could a third grade class solve the coronavirus problem? Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to work with it as I go through the story, but it's my story, and that's what I want it to be about. So that's the plot of my story. All right, and then as you continue on, um, on page 138, we have to have main characters on our story. It can be one main character. It can be more than one. Um, it's, the only thing you have to be sure of is that you develop the character. All right, so the very first part, or the question that they ask there is, who is your story? Who is the main story in your, um, who is the main character in your story going to be? But for uh, so for my story, the main character is going to be the third grade class. Yes, our class is going to be the stars of my story, and I'm excited. I have, like I said, I have a few ideas. I'm not sure exactly which one I'm going to go with, but that's okay. I'm at the beginning. I don't have to put any of that down in. Um, in stone right yet. I just have to get the ideas going and to start working with them. All right, so with my main character, I need to list some of the characteristics. And so I was thinking through some of the things that um, our class would demonstrate in the story that would make it really interesting. Uh, one of the first things is our class enjoys being together, all right? Enjoys being together. Okay, and that's one of the reasons why we're trying to solve the coronavirus is because we want to get back to class. We want to get back to seeing our friends and everything being normal. Okay, another thing it, about our class is that we are hard workers. Okay. Okay, you know my motto in third grade, we work hard so we can play hard. Okay, so we're hard workers. Another um, characteristic that I want to develop in my story is that our class are good creative it was kind of hard to write this way good creative thinkers all right we have a lot of talents in our classroom and a lot of talents and gifts and i think in my story i want to be able to highlight all the different things that our class brings together so that's one of the characteristics that i think will help all right and then what's the last one is Simply, we like to be problem solvers. Now, you know, in math, we like to solve the math mystery. Well, you know what? I think that it might follow that our class likes to solve problems. So here's another. Oops. Likes to 
solve problems. Okay, I'm sorry, that's kind of messy, but who <laughs> likes to solve problems? So I have my plot. This is what my story is going to be about. It's going to be about the third grade class solving the problem that we have right now. Um, the main character of the story is our class. And what do they like? Well, they like to be together. Okay, that's why we want, we're trying to solve the problem because we want to get everybody back to school, everything back to normal, being able to visit one another, enjoy each other's company. Um, so that's one of the characteristics. Another one is that we're hard workers. Um, if, it, if it's a hard problem, that's okay. We mind. We like working hard so that we can play hard later. And then we're creative, we're good thinkers, and that we like to solve problems. So that's the main character or main characters of my story. What I'd like for you to do is in your packet, you need to go ahead and complete page 137 and 138 as well. Um, what is the, what's the plot of your story going to be? Maybe you had a few in your mind that you were thinking of. See if you can narrow it down. Um, and then once you have your plot, who's the main character going to be? Is it going to be you? Uh, will it be someone that you know? It could be a made up uh, person. It could even be an animal, okay? Uh, because this is your story. It's only limited by your imagination. So think it through. And again, don't figure that everything has to be decide, decided and put in, um, put in stone right now. Uh, sometimes as writers, as they continue going through the process, things might change a little bit and that's okay. All right, so go ahead and complete page 137, 138. And then um, you'll notice in your Gmail, I gave you a slide um, that I want you to be using to put in all these different steps. Now you're sharing it with me, um, or I'm sharing it with you, so that we can be going back and forth um, and I can give you some suggestions, make some comments, and I can see how you're coming along. And I can see how it is that I can help you. But first, we always go ahead and do it on paper because it's a lot easier just to erase it. Not that you can't on the computer, but you wanna go ahead and have those things pretty much decided before you go ahead and start typing it in because that takes a little bit of time. All right, so ooh, let's get going, guys. I'm looking forward to some good story writing because I know some of you, this is where you blossom. So let's get down to work, all right? Third grade, we're gonna work hard because later on that means that we can play hard. All right, I'll see you next time, bye.